I'm going to explain to you how do you uh, make a uh, Photoshop brush from a rubber stamp. I use uh, Tweety Jill stamps and I've got a full set of uh, brushes from all of her stamps. Here's uh, one of hers, a set of her stamps right here. They're clean foam. And what you want to do is uh, stamp in black and get a nice, good, clear image. Now, the, these are vintage stamps, so if you see the little spots missing on the stamp, it's supposed to be. It's a vintage symbol on here. Uh, most of this is explained with the pictures. I'm going to talk over just a little bit in some places to explain why I did what I did. Familiarize yourself with your... Uh, Photoshop and take a look at where your cropping tool is and uh, notice there's a little lock on your background As long as that's locked there's things you can't do to that so you want to double click it and unlock it and uh, Like I say here the default will be layer 2 is what we'll call it Then use that cropping tool that was shown to you earlier and reduce the area To uh, the area you're going to be working on on your stamp now I've got only one stamp. You could of course use two or three stamps together or any kind of an image you want to. At this point you want to highlight to uh, your your layer is highlighted, so at that point, this point you want to adjust your brightness and contrast. I see my brightness at 60 and my contrast is 50. That may be that may vary depending on how you want to uh, set your what you want to do is be able to remove that white background. And if it's not pure white, you're going to want to make another layer. And that's why I see here, make a new layer. And since you're unlocked, you can take the new layer and you can pull it beneath the stamp. Or the one labeled the stamp layer. When you pull it, you will of course change to it. Now just for the convenience of the video, and so you understand, I call it the transparent background. You want to go back and highlight the layer that says stamp on it because that's the layer you're going to work on. Anytime you're going to work on a layer, you want to highlight that layer. Now, if you see my tolerance I set for my magic wand is at 50 up on top. That's so hopefully when I select that white area or the light area, I can get most of it removed. If by some chance I don't get it removed, I can clean it up with an eraser. Now once you've got your area picked, you want to go up to the layers and um, up to select and inverse your layer. What inverse is what it means is you will select only the stamp part and you won't be selecting the background. At that point, you're ready to define your brush. So you go up to Edit, drop down to Define Brush Preset, and it shows you a little symbol of what your brush is going to be. And by the way, the number underneath it is the size and pixels that your your brush is. And you can name it at that point. Now let's test this uh, stamp out. That's before we save it as a permanent stamp we want to use. Now, just out of habit, here you get, well, <laughs> you go back uh, to your brush, and you can see the little arrow up on top, and that's what you click, and that will bring your brushes up. And then, of course, you click on the brush, and that's the one you'll have. Now, I notice I put a new layer in. I make a new layer because I don't like to work on my original layer. Sometimes that original layer isn't just white. It may be a piece of collage paper, something you've been working on, you want to stamp on. So instead of stamping directly on it, I stamp on that invisible layer. That invisible layer also lets you change the uh, opacity of it so you can make it uh, a little bit more transparent if you want that effect. Now once you like your brush you own here and you say I'm going to save it, you go to your preset manager. 
And when you open Preset Manager, it will show you all the brushes you currently have open. Now you can group whatever brushes you want by clicking it. If you click it, it will get a dark square around it. And as this uh, drawing here says, you can hold down your control and it will allow you to select more than one. Once they're selected, then you say, I want to save this set as. And here are the different names of the brushes I have now, but I could name it whatever I want to. Now, once you've saved it and you want to use that, you can go, you can open your new brush set by clicking that little triangle and it opens up again. You'll get a drop down of all your brushes, but in that square that dropped down, if you look up in the upper right hand corner, you can click that and it will open up the new bright all the brushes you can choose from. And it says you want to add to it or you want to replace them. Um, be careful when you and uh, when you replace all the brushes in there that you haven't got new brushes you haven't saved. You want to be sure and save your brushes. Uh, brush management is important. You better look up on the uh, internet under brush management and uh, you'll learn more about it. I also will probably do a video on that later. Brush management and painting these stamps once you've uh, stamped them. Thank you.